Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about spirit, soul, and body and what that means, particularly if you are seeking God and seeking healing in your physical body, which is part of the salvation package that Jesus paid for on the cross. So I'm going to start with the Bible verse that talks about spirit, soul, and body, and it comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.23, and it says, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what does this mean? This means that we are a three-part being. We have a spirit, soul, and body. And what does that mean in terms of healing? That is particularly what this channel is about, is seeking healing through faith in Jesus Christ and how to appropriate the promises of God. So if you look at that verse of spirit, soul, and body, it's similar to in the Old Testament, there was the outer court the inner court and the holy of holies and the minute you become born again as a christian if you accept jesus into your heart and you become born again at that minute at that very second that you accept jesus your nature your sinful nature which is in your spirit becomes completely replaced with the perfect spirit of Jesus Christ. So the spirit part of you, the inner part, becomes 100% replaced with the perfect, sanctified, holy spirit of Jesus Christ himself. He gives us his Holy Spirit to indwell within us. And what that starts to do is through a process of sanctification, through a process we are saved and yet being saved. So you get saved, but then you go through a process of renewing of your mind, of transforming your mind to the ways of the Lord, to the ways of the kingdom of God. And that takes a process. And during that process, your soul becomes sanctified, your, your personality, your mind, will, emotions, your conscience, your heart, and then eventually your body gets fully healed. Now God can do healing any which way he wants. It doesn't have to follow a particular formula. It doesn't have to follow a particular timeline. But that is the process of if you are receiving a progressive healing, is it does take time to go through that process. Now, God can just heal you in an instant, and that is how many times miracles do happen. However, if, you are, if you're not experiencing that immediate healing, then you wanna plant, just like a farmer plants corn. So first you have to, you have to dig in the field, cultivate the soil, get it ready to plant. Then you plant your corn and then you wait out the time of the growing of the corn. And then at harvest time, you harvest the corn. Similarly, if you are seeking healing, the seed represents the word of God, that you are planting that word of God into your heart, into your soul level which is the second level, you start planting the word of God, the promises of God. What does God speak over your life? What does God say about this terminal illness or this permanent condition that you have been diagnosed with? Well, God says you will live and not die and you will show the salvation of the Lord. So you start planting the truth of God into your soul and the enemy has to flee. The enemy cannot live under those conditions and eventually your body gets healed. Sometimes it does take a process like that. So one of the first things to do, if you do receive a diagnosis from the doctor or from any authority that you are listening to, 
is to say thank you very much. I thank you for that diagnosis. And now I'm going to go to my God, the living God, who will speak a better word over my life. So immediately you cut the curse words that people are speaking over you. You cut off those cursed words of any diagnosis that they are telling you that you have and any prognosis that comes with that. You break off those words and then you diligently start planting the word of God into your soul, which eventually will manifest in your physical healing in your body. So this is what I'm going to be talking about more in depth on this channel. If you like this content, hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and I'll see you in the next video.